greetings of the day and huge welcome from the St. Anselm family. I, Mridula Gaur, welcomes you all on behalf of Team Anselm. I am here to make things easy and enjoyable for you. Today we are going to discuss circular flow of income topic from the National Income Chapter. Before starting of this chapter topic, I am going to uh, explain what is national income. National income refers to the money value of all goods and services which are produced in domestic territory of a country or of an economy. National income uh, measurement, before measurement of national income, we should know how income generates and how do it flow in between different sectors. Okay, so today first of all we are dis discussing a simple economy in which only two sectors are there. First sector that one is producing sector or producing unit we can say. The second sector is household sector or household unit. I told you that we are discussing the simplest form of economy in which only two sectors are there, no external sector is there. In this economy, only two sectors, first is production sector and second is household sector. Production sector is also known as producing unit or firm and household sector, we will uh, use household only for this term. So income which is generating in the uh, country or in the economy will flow in between these two factors. Now we are discussing why this flow of income is known as circular flow. So whenever the income flow in between different sectors, so here the, uh, the this flow is flow is called circular flow. Because we can start it from producing sector, we can start this flow of income from household sector we can start from anywhere okay so as i told you that this this flow of income is never have ending or beginning now let me discuss how do we explain the flow of income in between these two sectors so first of all household sector i am going to make this then is firm or producing sector we can use firm also i am writing firm firm is a producing unit and we are using this unit for the producing sector so income will flow in between income uh, flow in between these two sectors household and firm First we will start, we can start from anywhere, we can start from household, we can start from firm. I am starting from the firm, for example, firm is a producing unit and for the production, firm uses so many things. Firm uses uh, like uh, uh, building, material, capital, interest uh, and, and other things, okay. So all these things are provided by the household sector. Household sector provide factor services and for the factor services firm gives factor payment firm gives factor payment this factor payment will be in term of four types for the building rent will be there rent for the capital interest will be there okay and for the workers wages will be there rent interest wages and for entrepreneurship there will be profit okay so the firm will give factor payment in term of rent interest wages and profit the rent will be given for hiring building the interest will be given for hiring or for taking capital for loans wages will be given for hiring workers and the profit will be given to entrepreneur whenever household is receiving factor payment so in return of the factor payment the household sector will give 
factor services okay factor services are land capital labor and entrepreneur okay so here household sector is providing factor services and in return of household uh, sector in return it receives factor payment this i think i have made clear this household sector is providing factor services and for using these factor services firm is giving factor payment to household sector now the question is there what kind of factor services are provided by the household sector so there are four type of factor services land capital labor entrepreneurship and in return for the land household sector receives rent for the capital household sector receives interest payment and for the labor household sector receives wages and salary in cash or kind you can say entrepreneurship for this household sector receives profit okay now this is the first type of flow of income now another term as household sector receives income in term of factor services after receiving income we people spend income over different type of expenses okay now generation of income leads to generation of income leads to expenditure this leads to expenditure over consumption and what kind of consumptions are there so people consume goods and services so here we can say household sector spend the income which they are receiving from the firm by providing factor services this income they will spend over different type of consumption expenditures okay as household sector gives money to the firm for their consumption expenditure the household sector will receive different type of goods and services so now as the firm is the producing unit and its work is to produce different kind of goods and services so firm is the unit which will provide goods and services so for the expenditure over consumption firm will gives goods and services so this sector uh, these the income flow of income in between these two sectors is called circular flow of income we can start it from the firm we can start it from the household sector and as this flow of income is never having any ending nor beginning that's why it is called circular flow of income okay so income generation leads to expenditure and further expenditure generates or motivates firms to produce goods and services so this this flow of income will be continue in the economy that's why this is called circular flow of income now here i am going to explain what household sector is household sector is a sector which provide factor services in term of land labor capital and entrepreneur okay household sector is the main sector because it is providing all the factor services which are used by the producing sector to produce for goods and services factor services provide land labor capital and entrepreneurship and it receives income from the uh, producing sector and this income is spent uh, it will be spending over different kind of consumption expenditure the another sector that is firm or we can say producing unit this producing unit is using factor services and for hiring these factor services it generates income in term of factor payment okay this factor payment is in term of for the land 
producing sector gives rent for the labor producing sector gives wages and salary for the capital producing sector or firms gives interest payment and for entrepreneurship producing sector provide profit producing sector gives factor payment to household sector factor payment receives income in term of this factor payment and household sector provide factor services and after receiving income in term of all these kind factor uh, household sector will generate expenditure over different kind of consumption and for that consumption expenditure household sector receives different kind of goods and services from the producing sector